Okay, now that we have our signal link in line and we have our green light, we also have a red PT light and we must activate also. To activate our red PT light is used through our USB cable. We must set up the settings in our on our computer, which is down in the right corner for our speaker. We want to go in and verify that on the playback side device is not record. This is reverse thinking here because our voice is going to travel back through our PC to activate our station through the signal link which is monitoring our sound. So let's go into our playback devices. Here we it normally would be checked here for speakers so as a default but here at the bottom we see speakers and USB codecs and we've already right clicked it and set it up as a default by just going to default. Set as default. Okay after that we're going to click OK. We're good to go we can do a test by clicking the test button which will activate our signal link PT through sound as you see the signal link did key and the PT red light did show traffic okay we're going to click OK and we're going to now go to our vessel that we're going to use which I chose to use Skype we're going to click on Skype and in Skype we must go to call tab click on call tab go down to audio settings again it's reverse thinking here to do this we're going to test our speaker sound from our Skype the same as we did our laptop so the first thing we do we want to change the speaker from dual speakers from playing here if you play a test it plays over the PC speakers. We want it to play our voice as the PC speaker back through our signal link. So let's go ahead and change this to the codec. And we look for the audio USB codec. There it is right there. Now, since we choose audio codec, we do a test by testing again and the signal link should key. And the sounds from this computer are being played through the signal link. So you may want to, you have to go in here and set, shut off different sound settings on your computer so that your, your uh, Pal Talk or other programs that use little notifications do not accidentally engage your signal link and play it also over the airways. That will be kind of embarrassing. So we have everything set up properly here in the Skype to play our, for our remote station. Now we have one more settings we must check. So we go down to show advanced set, advanced options. By clicking on advanced options, we're kind of getting into a part that I don't want. So let me go back here. Went too far. Let's go back again. We're going to go into calls, audio settings, because we have to be able to call ourselves without being here. So we must set the software to automatically answer automatically answer calls and to do that I think it's this call tab yep it's the call tab here going into the call settings we look and we say we can allow calls from ourselves to our cell phone from anyone but this is the main thing here where we got checked here I'm going to uncheck it answer incoming calls automatically that's what we want to have so when we check that box it answers the calls automatically we save that setting and we leave the Skype running even if you close it, it's still a run down in your toolbar in the background, and that's how that works. Oh man.